Welcome YouTube, wie is die hier uit die Take a look. This here is my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra rocking the One UI 5 third beta. I already did a video yesterday. In today's video, I'm going to dive deep into One UI 5 beta 3. Animations, fluidity, apps opening and closing and etc. And speaking about diving, you can dive inside your browser or YouTube client and check if you are subscribed to my channel. Custom made by my kids. It's probably the best subscribe button, physical one, yep. Please subscribe for my channel and buckle up because I promise you, this is going to be a very interesting video, 4K 60 FPS, because I know it's animations. So here we are guys, and I have something important to say. Why? are animations so important for One UI and for Samsung in general? And I think there is a short answer to this, but also a long answer. And I guess you don't really prefer to hear the long version. So here, the short answer. The short answer is that, for example, the S22 Ultra, which is a magnificent phone, best camera, best screen, etc., in an Android phone, costs a lot of money. And the animations are not so fluid, and there are some stutters, and there are some lags, and in general, some people are not happy, me included. I'm a huge Samsung fan, and as you know, I have the S22 Ultra with the Exynos version, but also the Z Flip 4, which, by the way, I'm using to shoot this video. And if you wanna check some things about the Z Flip 4, go here. And this is actually why animations are so important, because we are paying our top dollars to Samsung, and we demand to have fluid, nice looking animations, no stuttering, no lags. Now One UI 5 is already in its third beta. It's running Android 13. The first beta was not so good. The second beta though was amazing. And you can actually check my video. I did a video three weeks ago and I said, oh my God, it's almost like perfect. And why? Why? Because the animations were very, very good. Now the third installment brings back a new lock screen with new wallpapers and also the ability for you to modify the lock screen. And it does look very, very much like what Apple are using into the iOS 16. And that's not a bad thing, guys. You know why? Well, a wise guy said once, if something good exists, guys, then you can copy it. And there is nothing really bad at this. This happens all the time in the music industry. This happens all the time in the automotive industry. And of course, it does happen also in the smartphone scene. Apple iOS is... Yeah, very limited, but also people know that it's really very fluid. And of course, there are many other advantages. I'm not going to cover them, but what Samsung users want, or let's say what I want as a Samsung user is to have this level of fluidity. I want to have a phone that really works fluid, that really works without any interruptions, without any lags. When I use this phone, I want to know that I gave my last penny or cent for this phone because it's just simply the best phone. This is really, guys, the short version, but you cannot have the best phone when the phone struggles with animations. And I know that Samsung knows about it, and this is why they pushed out this third beta, which apparently improves on the animation. And this is also why I'm shooting this video in 4K 60fps, guys, so do, you can really check all these animations. And that is what I'm going to primarily focus now in my One UI 5 beta 3 review. And the first thing, of course, we're going to start is with the home screen animation. So I just will do it right now. I'm going to be doing this quite a lot, guys, just to make sure that I give the phone a chance to show to us, is it doing a good job? Is it doing a great job? Or is it rather like a mediocre job? Now, the home screen animation, I would say, is okay. No problem at all. Now, let you guys check what happens when I draw the notifications. Okay, it's very fluid. Not a problem at all. Okay, one more time. Now the quick settings. Okay, yep. Also looks quite promising. Now let me go back to the home screen animation, okay? And by the way, guys, I'm using WQHD Plus with 120 Hertz, which means I'm using really the most of this very beautiful screen. And I know that's important because see here, now I think we got this short lag and stutter. If you use this phone, on the FHD plus resolution, then it's going to be even more fluid. But you know what? Yeah, they put WQHD there, so why not really use the way it's meant to be used? So home screen animation, I think it's okay. You saw me before doing the lock screen animation, which I think is also quite nice and not so fluid, right? But also not so bad, guys. And I know this really heavily inspired from iOS 16. And I said this also in my previous 
when a video i don't really care as long as it works good i'm happy now let's check google discover animation all right fluid this time let me just scroll down a bit I have been using now One UI 5 Beta 3 in the last 12 hours and I'm really impressed. And I can tell you guys, I have a feeling that the animations really have been improved. But the problem is not really the animations, it's just the way they're connected. And I know this might sound a bit strange, but what do I mean here, guys? The animations themselves are okay, they're fluid. But the problem is that sometimes when you do some stuff, you open an application and then go to recent menu, the connecting animation is kind of problematic and this stutter, this lag is still there. And this annoys me, right? I never really had problems with using Samsung phones and I'm not here just to complain. I want to provide some feedback that hopefully will help the people working on One UI to really make it better. And I believe that in the One UI 5 Beta 3, they really took this to the next level. And to the next level, I mean, it's not yet perfect, but it seems that these stutters really have been reduced. Now, guys, let me also open the volume rocker. All right, you can see. It's all perfect, by the way. Not a problem at all. Let me now also go and show you the wallpaper section. All nice and fluid. I will now apply the palette to all my app icons, and I want to check how my phone will behave, right? Right now, it should be applied. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. Well, now, okay. Now I have this color palette applied to my icons. Okay, this works. I'm going to go back and remove it. I don't like it because, again, it doesn't really support all of my icons. And by the way, if you didn't really check my first video on the One UI 5 Better 3, you can check it there. We have some new graphical wallpapers and also some new, I think, nine altogether color wallpapers. If you want them, let me know. I'll just put them somewhere online. I think I did some fair testing in this vertical mode but do you know what's not fair if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed 98 percent of the viewers of my channel are not subscribed to my channel and yeah that's not good i don't like this if you want to help me guys please subscribe for this channel let me just test the same animations into this landscape this horizontal mode so i'm gonna test again this okay see not so bad at all guys yep Still not perfect, by the way, you know, I, I just want it to be a bit more fluid. And I know there are some people in the comments that will say, hey, VSD, you are complaining again, but you know, I want this to be perfect. I know I have a feeling they're very close, but the problem is that they are not yet there. I just want Samsung to be there. I want my Samsung phone to operate as an iPhone. And no, I will not buy the iPhone. I like Samsung phones. Okay, now notifications, not a problem at all. So I would say that the animation on the home screen, vertical and also horizontal mode, they do work quite okay. Now let's check guys the weather animation. Opening this here, very nice fancy animations. I like the design work, I like what they did guys. I think that Samsung designers are doing a great job and I'm even not sure if it's up to the designers to do something to kind of optimize the whole experience, right? Probably not. All right, so the weather animation will quite okay. Now we are going to open some applications and yeah, you're probably here for this. So guys, enjoy this in the whole beauty of 4K 60 FPS shot on the Z4. Let me now open my Telegram. Okay, open, okay, one more time. Okay, quite fluid. Let me open also my Messenger. All right. Yeah, I would say it's really very fluent, guys. Let me now also open Spotify. Okay, Spotify takes some time to load. All right, yep. And you see, by the way, folder opening, up opening right now functions quite nicely. Let me now open the good lock. All right, yep. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna close it, guys, and now open it again. Yep. See this design element, something that I like. Yep, it is really working very flawless. Now, there is nothing really I can say about this. Let me now open my dialer, all right, dialer. Yep, see, quite nice. Let's now open Chrome, all right, loading Samsung page, Chrome, okay, yep. It is not so bad, guys. I think really they are doing 
some things in the right direction. It's not still something that I want to see as a final product, but I really hope that they are gonna take it even to the next level. Now let me open some of my not so favorite apps like TikTok. All right, it's there. Okay, opening. Yeah, gonna close it, gonna open it again. Okay, yeah, not that bad. Not that bad, guys. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And guys, now it's time for me to open the app drawer. Okay, see? Wow, how fluid is this, guys? Now let's check the navigation. All right. I think this is pretty fluid, guys, and my finger starts already burning when I do this. Let's also check the home screen navigation, okay? Google Discover. Let me now also check some of the widgets. Okay, widgets. Okay, yep, not so bad at all. I have a dedicated screen for widget testing. Let me go there. Let me try to add the Spotify widget. All right. Yep, Spotify animation on the widget is really crazy good, guys, see? No lags. We have here also the smart suggestions, that's quite nice. Yep, see, the animation works not so bad. And guys, right now here I have the recents menu. So let me just show you how many applications I have. Yeah, there are really a plenty. All right, and we can also check the animations there. It's really very, very fluid, guys. Okay, we cannot really complain. And now guys, something I wanna show, this is the camera opening and the camera closing. And I know that's really very important. Camera opening, all right, closing. Let me take the phone, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. Okay, let's check. Rear camera opening, closing, opening. Yeah. Now let me show you something very interesting, guys. You know about the pop-ups. I have now my camera. I'm gonna open it like a pop-up, guys, and see here, right? I'm just going to change it and put this so that you know, while I'm having the camera in a pop-up window, also minimized, I'm really able to just move it around and it all worked, guys. And honestly, yeah, this is really, really fantastic and it's really crazy. I can take pictures. It's absolutely and fully functional camera that I have right now in a pop-up. And you know, we can do plenty of other things. I can open Telegram and I can also pop Telegram up. So right now I'm gonna have like these two pop-ups and still my camera is going to work. I find this to be very, very impressive, guys. And if you go to the recent menu, everything is gonna get minimized. No luck at all. You can open it, you can close it, and that's really perfect. Something very interesting, guys, if I open my Telegram application and I just go into my recent menu, guys, if I hold this icon, I have the options to just drop it here to open. It's going to instantly open in a split screen, right? Which is absolutely fantastic. Then, you know, you can just swipe things. There are things you can do, right? And the luck is minimum, but there are plenty of other actions. Let me just show you. Yes, if I hold it one more time, I can put it there for a pop-up window. And right now, I think this is really very, very convenient. So let me just show you how this works with Facebook. It's the same. I can just, boom, put it there as a pop-up. Let me just open this one as well. Okay, can we do this as a pop-up as well? Boom, pop-up as well. All right, let me just open my camera and I will try to do this with my camera as well. Hold it there for a split screen, boom, pop-up. And right now, guys, I'm gonna minimize all and I'm going to have all these three applications. And the best thing is when I open the camera, it will really work. So I can move it around and you can see me talking and I can just switch the cameras and do pictures and I can pretty much use my phone almost like a PC. And it's not looking bad, by the way, guys. It's not looking bad. I do believe that they really did a fantastic job. You can just see all the animations, I think right now, are very, very much fluid. And the only problem that I see is that sometimes there are these occasional stutters and like between animations, right? Or when the phone, let's say, gets too hot, then I think that's understood. It really gets down to the level of not performing the way we expect. Guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Again, I wanted to put my focus on the animations and I think it's understood why. This here are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I did a video yesterday comparing these to many other earbuds that I use and that I have. So you can also check this video there, guys. And I really hope that Samsung are going to bring even more fluidity into the next versions, right? But we're not really so far away from Samsung releasing the final One UI Beta 5. With that said, guys, don't forget to check if you're not subscribed. Yeah, I'll be happy if you do so. Stay safe and we speak very soon. 
Wirsti, over and bye.